Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the to the channel. After the full update preview of 7.7 .7 and the TVP guide, which I know, I know guys, I saw a bit of the comments. It's not a real guide because it's on the RU server, it is open test, there are way too many TVPs for the tank to be uh, representative of the of the meta that it is on EU and NA and RU in, in the real game. But after these games, I decided to, to hop into the open test a bit more and, and play with the Progetto and the TVP. I want to compare these two a little bit. So we're going to show the statistics first, compare these on the paper, and then we'll do a game on uh, on the open test server in the TVP, maybe even two, and two games in the Progetto. And then I'll give you my opinion on what tank you should probably go for if you want to get one of these lines. Um, so as I said, we're going to have a look at the statistics first, and we're going to start off with the Progetto. Which is uh, right about here. Um, you can see I have the tanks equipped. I'm going to switch this one to Vance and that one to Enhanced Armor as well. So we have a, a full level playing field. Both of the equipments are the same. And as you can see, we've got both of the provisions the same as well. So in that regard, there's nothing that is different in terms of setup. Progetto first. If you're going to look at the tank, you can see that you've got 120 mils on your frontal armor, 50 on the hull, 40 on the sides of the turret and the hull, and the rear is 30 to 35. Concealment 51, 44, 11, and view range 214 meters. When you're going to take a look at the TVP, you're looking at 145 on the turret, front 75 on the hull, 80 on the sides of the turret, 40 uh, on the side of the hull, as you can see. 50 on the rear of the turret, 30 on the hull, and concealment is 47, 42, and uh, upon firing it is 9. If you range 308, which means that in terms of armor it doesn't really matter, but in terms of having the view range, the obviously uh, win, the, the obvious winner is the Progetto at 314, as you can see, and it is a little bit, a little bit more sneaky too not by a large margin but a little bit more sneaky and it's probably due to the fact that the Progetto is a slightly lower vehicle than the TVP. Next thing what we're then going to look at is the gun. We've got 2559 damage per minute with the Progetto, reload between shots is 3 seconds as you can see but it is an auto reloader which means once you fire the first shot that shell automatically starts reloading and you can Basically play it as a single shot tank, you can play it as a two shot autoloader or as a three shot autoloader But the more shots you will fire the longer you will dig into your reload time Fire three shots you will have the longest reload time I think it's actually if, if you fire two you have the best effective DPM So it's a bit hard to calculate the DPM on this tank But it is flexible Three shells in the magazine Penetration wise 245, 295 53 on our explosive and 350 on your APCR, 300 on your heats, as you can see, 400 explo uh, high explosive, 3.2 aiming time, dispersion 3.19, uh, 9 degrees of gun depression, 20 degrees of gun elevation. TVP then, in terms of the gun, as you can see over here, uh, it is not a bad gun whatsoever. It takes a crown in the uh, DPM department, but only by a slight margin. It has, I think it's actually the same aiming time, 3.2 seconds, as you can see. But this is a, this is a full-blooded autoloader. You have to fight, you, you know, you can still play it as a single shot, double shot, triple, triple shot or four shot autoloader. But once you fight all four shells, we showed you that yesterday, didn't we? You can have a drink or, or mow the lawn, basically. In terms of penetration, it is just a little tad below the uh, Progetto. Heat is a bit less, as you can see. Average damage, 310. That's where the Progetto shines. It's got 350 Alpha. This one's got 310. It has better high explosive damage. This one has 260 over 300. And also the... Uh, or, or heat, I should say. And also for high explosive, the Progetto takes the crown. And also in terms of gun depression, as you can see. So, in that regard... It is, it is a bit hard to really compare these tanks. They, this one shines in the monster burst capability, and, and that's what it does. This is hit and run tank. Progetto is a bit more flexible. 
And we then going to take a look at the mobility. Uh, of course, we are we're going to lower it over here, go down over there. 58 in terms of top speed. I already know the projector or the TVP is slightly better at 60. Reverse, the projector is a little bit better. 23 versus 20. Average 35. Power to weight. It's really important because it allows you to pick up quicker. 17.6. And uh, overall rate in terms of turning, let's say 45 on the turret and uh, 65 on the hull. Taking a look at the TVP. As said, in terms of maneuverability, the TVP is slightly quicker forwards, a little bit less uh, backwards. Average speed is a little bit higher. Power to weight ratio is a little bit better, as you can see. And turret turn, yeah, 45 thereabouts for the TVP. And the hill turn is just a little bit quicker. And if you look at terrain, crossing capacity, 113, 13, Let's take a look at the projecto. We're going to scroll all the way down. We're looking at the terrain crossing capacity 141, 125, 63. That's the projectile then. Um, if you look on the stats, this may seem to be the absolute winner except for insane burst capability. But that's not, uh, it's not by no means, it, it's by no means guaranteed that this tank will always win. Um, good players can always make tanks perform. It, it's just simply as it is. If, 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 Bad players can't make bad tanks perform. Should I, should I say that? Am I allowed to say that? Anyways, it, it is the player that makes a tank. If you know how to use the tank, if you know how to use what the tank can do properly, then you can make basically any tank shine. What we're going to do here is we're going to go together with the uh, pro, uh, with the TVP. We're in a projector. You can see it take, will take me 8.5 seconds to reload. I will only have one shell. But this little bugger over there and, and, and my other teammate over there, they have like 20 seconds to go. So I am more flexible. Uh, that said, we have five tanks versus six, so that might be a bit of a problem. There's a bet chat over there. We've got two shells and we've got three shells. And my uh, teammate is still reloading in the TVP. He is right over there. There's a Skoda with three shots in the magazine. I think we will want to just try and go down and dump a big shell into this Skoda. Here we go. One and two. He's dead. Yeah, fine. 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 Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. We're gonna push. We're gonna push. We're gonna ram that guy. But I wanted to ram him. I wanted to ram him and he is dead. You can see I am more flexible. Can we shoot that TVP? Yes, we absolutely can. One, and he's gonna clip us now. He's gonna clip us now. Yes, he's gonna clip us now. I got a big HE shot right into the front, I think. Yeah, right into the front. I think this little encounter already shows what this TVP can do because one of these guys over there that got uh, it was, it was this guy actually. He pushed on us, he emptied his magazine straight into us. Two seconds between the shots, bath, 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 straight into me. But once he was on a reload, he had to run and I was more flexible. So I think the TVP will be a tank that's uh, risk it for the biscuit strategy, high risk, high rewards. This one, the project is more flexible. And even if they had uh, one more tank, they still have a new run it over there and he can still win obviously you can see the oh that guy gonna have a field day that's guy this guy at the back is gonna have a field day here we go and he's gonna put one more shot into him yes and he up the ass behind him boom the tvp is now sitting behind this and fine is that no this is m fine here we have mama hako zato this E100 wants to he and throw a right to the side which he can absolutely do and this E100 nowhere to go and he didn't even drop off. <laughs> We're going to have another one. 1640 damage dealt. And we are bottom in terms of damage. Because we died as the first tank on the uh, field. 7 star. Really good player. I think. 60% win rate. But I think uh, th these were one of the guys that, uh, that won Twister. Or were at least high on the Twister on, on RU. Not quite sure. But I think they were. Um, what we're going to do, just one more game in the Progetto. And then we're going to play with the 50-51 uh, 50, uh, again. Why did you say again, Martin? Well, it is because I have played with it already. Okay, okay, what to do? <clears throat> In terms of medium tanks, it's the same. It's three versus three. Two TVPs, one Leopard and a TV 
HP. No, it's two versus three. This is not good. We have one less tank and we have less mediums. And they have the big guns. I think we'll want to go and kill the uh, T-124s in a bit. I think we definitely want to do that. And I've got one shot in the magazine and I've got two shots in the magazine. There we go. And I'm reloaded by now. And I can I can take a look at the top over there. The, at 6 minutes and 40, 38 seconds, the TVPs are re reloaded now as well. We're just going to blast in. We're just going to blast in and we're going to snatch. We're going to hammer that combat star. We're going to hammer this guy. We are going to absolutely wreck him. Just going to run around. And here we go. And one. Yeah, yeah, commander. Bye-bye. And one in, in there. No, we're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to run. We're going to run around. We're going to run around. I want to shoot this guy. One. And two, and he is having a field day now. We're gonna run around again. We're gonna run around again. Why, Martin? This is absolutely organs blazing. You're a Rambo mode style. Yes, it is. But I'm reloaded now. Here we go. Missed one shot. That's annoying. And there we go. We killed him. Can we find another shot? Yes, we absolutely can. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. We are reloaded. That's a very lucky bounce. There we go. Right through the so sad. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. We're gonna lose this one, guys. But I said, I don't really mind too much because we can now shoot this DVP once more and he missed a shot and I shot too early. That is a little bit annoying. There we go, we're dead. We are dead. Um, this is by no means representative of what these tanks can do in a real game. We were one tank down, they had a platoon of two T124s. We managed to kill one and they had TVPs rushing in. They had, they had already won the desert, etc., etc. But that little encounter that I did towards the TVPs um, did show that I'm a bit more flexible. I can go in, I can put two shots into the enemy. And if I wanted to, I could just ring around. And by the time I was able to run in again, I was reloaded. And the TVPs just weren't. He still uh, topped me in terms of damage. But it's, it, is, it, it wasn't a, a really big run. So we're going to do a little run in this TVP again. Again with the same equipment. I would probably just use the calibrated shells because I want to maximize my damage potential in a way. Um, but what you should have more DPF. That's more damage potential. Yes it is. But if I'm not penetrating my shots then it's just a shot that's going to waste. Ooh. Six versus six. <clears throat> six versus six. Okay. Okay. We've got an FV405. What are we gonna do? Let's see what we can do with this. Is a, this is an even matchup. That's good. That is at least uh, good. I don't have the legendary camouflage on this tank, as you can see. Not just yet, that is. And we're gonna go on the usual ridge. We're spotting an enemy. And we have spotted ourselves. And the T123 is already there. That is not good. T123 is already there. That's not good with the big speed boost. Oh, yo, 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 yo. And the SCB is nearly dead already. Let's see if we can get some... No. Ooh. Yep. This was a disaster waiting to happen. Can we find a shot on the STB? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm waiting for him, buddy. I'm trying to, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Come on, mate. Come on. Miss me, please. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This RNG. Ah, yeah, 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 No, don't shoot me! Don't shoot my tank! Don't shoot my tank! What are you doing? I'm too young to die. Rip! And we're dead. Okay. C4 in E3 was a good uh, good clan as well. This was a bit of a whitewash. Didn't really show what the tank can do. But if you catch an enemy off guard, guys, then uh, yeah. See, 65% win rate. Really good player. Uh, at least, uh, at least I wasn't a donut. At least I wasn't a donut, guys. At least I was not a donut. Well, we're gonna go for another one. But in it, it shows that if you if you get this tank in a position where you can't do anything which you can which you can do as well if you see a tvp on the red team then you can sort of figure out where he is and if you can make him combat ineffective by uh making sure oh that's that's a lot of tvps oh boy 
they can just rush in and annihilate us honestly um if you can um, if you can catch an enemy off guard and if you can if you can force him into a corner where he, where he really can't shoot anyone then you're going to be all fine and dandy i guess then you really can be all fine and dandy then you can just sit and wait it out because he can't move and yes he's got brilliant burst capability but it doesn't have anything else in a way you can see these are guys are pushing in aggressively i wanted to stay with the uh with my team a bit so so to show you the the, the flanking gameplay that's five tanks spotted where's that last one i want to try and find somebody who is down to clip a ball in a way i'm spotted it's gonna be this guy then there we go see th th this is what i was talking about guys this is what i was talking about this is what i meant we're gonna shoot this guy one and no okay fine fair enough two and three where did that shot go i think it bounced we have one ta we have one more tank guys and we have them all cornered in over here this is what i meant with making a team combat ineffective yes they can start clipping us out but i am going to just uh, rush in now onto that guy and we're gonna burst the crap out of him why so because we absolutely can and we absolutely must and another one here we go and we want this guy dead why did you shoot him because it was a one shot and we decided to start moving and i'm gonna stop over and make him miss and then the fe is bumping into him yeah 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 and we've got six seconds left and i doubt we won't i doubt we will be able to get more shots in onto this guy but if you can uh, retain your hit points as with any of the tanks then you can be all fine and gucci the hit and one more and there by but bam you know th th this th this shows what the tank can do tvps went in they went into a corner they absolutely murdered one of our guys who was right over there got isolated but we had them in the corner we knew where they were they couldn't really escape and then you can just wait it out reload and and start killing tanks and we are second by the damage which is uh, obviously due to the fact that they had a lot of tvps nothing to be really proud of but it also shows as you can see we played for two minutes and I managed to get 12 shots in which is three full magazines that's really good but yeah um back to the subject what what, what we was talking about uh, uh which one's better projector or tvp i'm not sure guys i really am not sure which one is better if it is it a tvp is it a projecto i think that um i think for veteran players and guys that or, or are just naturals that really know what to do in the game and on the uh on the battlefield if you can read the map etc then the tvp can shine but the projecto with that auto reloading mechanism is just more flexible so if you want to grind one of the mediums in the european tech tree I will go for the projecto first, try to figure out how the tank plays out, and uh, then go for the TVP. Because that's higher risk, higher reward, it's a thrilling ride to play, but the projecto is a bit more flexible and a bit more forgiving in my opinion. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Glitch Universe. Thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, happy tanking, bye bye.